I've been a coomer longer than I have not been a coomer. I think it would be around close to half of my life considering like I got started into that stuff way before puberty. I was shooting blanks for a minute. That's awful, but I keep drinking it. So as you may be aware, it is November and you may also be aware of the global internet trend known as No Nut November, where you basically do not bust for the entire month. This is different than the no fap movement because no fap is just avoiding masturbation and pornography. However, if it's with a partner, you're free to blow. I'm doing No Nut November. I actually don't think I've ever gone 30 days of full retention mode, which we'll talk on full retention. But right now, I just want to say that even if for some reason you don't think you can retain, at least try to do no fap November. And even then when I talk about no fap, I get people just coping in the comments. They, they, they say stuff like, oh, well, it's okay because I don't watch porn. So I, I just masturbate. It's self-love, bro. Self-love is things like meditation, going to the gym, eating healthy. That is, that is like, okay, but sure, physical self-love making, whatever. That is, just phys that is just temporary pleasure and time wasting. You garner no benefit from doing that. And then people are going to say, oh, well, the prostate cancer thing. I, I don't want to get prostate cancer. You're 16 years old. You're not going to get prostate cancer, most likely. I know, and don't act like you're actually concerned about it. You know that's just a cope. If you were so concerned about prostate cancer, you would buy like a prostate supplement. They make that. They're just coping coomers. They just coom and cope and come and cope all day. However, I do implore you to consider doing the full no nut November meeting full on semen retention for 30, 31 days. It's hard because I can't pull up a bunch of scientific studies to tell you like, if you hold your nut for 10 days, this will happen. For 30 days, this will happen. 90 days, you can levitate. You definitely can levitate though. I've done it. However, at the most basic level, there is something to be said about the sheer discipline of retaining your seed. For most guys, that simply just means no masturbation. And for some guys, that means avoiding sex and or having sex without finishing. Regardless, the discipline, because you're so accustomed, your body is so used to that pleasure, so used to that dopamine, that sensation, that release to completely just say, no, this is what we do now. I'm the type of person that does this now. And now it's getting dark and I got to brighten it up. So yeah, using it as a, just a discipline exercise, just for mental toughness and knowing you have the ability to do that is already a pretty huge benefit in itself. However, and most people that retain will tell you this, there are true benefits to retention. A very common one that people say they experience as well as the one that will probably garner the most attention and care from men is that you will become more attractive to women, but also just a more attractive person in general, just more charismatic. You know, there's arguments that it's like a spiritual aspect because our ancestors did retention as a spiritual activity, but also the kind of the science of subconsciously your brain's like, oh, we're not nutting. We're not doing, we're not getting to nut. We're not reproducing. We need to become higher charismatic, higher interactions with people, attract more people, make more eye contact with girls. Eye contact is a huge thing that people that retain talk about is that they're just able to find and hold more eye contact with people in general, but of course women. And it makes sense on every level because if you're subconsciously used to just blowing a load all the time, it's like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, your brain doesn't understand what you're doing. Well, see, the thing is, is like, there's two sides of it. And this is, there's two negative sides to masturbation and pornography and stuff. There's one side that you you know what you're doing and it's like the shame side and like you both consciously and element places in your subconscious recognize it too of like I am watching another man have sex with the girl that I would like to have sex with and I am pleasuring myself to that. You are just beta cucking yourself. Every time you watch a video like that and do that, you're simply just a cuck. As well as the subconscious uh, side of your brain that doesn't really know what's going on, all it knows, it's like, it's like the mechanical side that's like, oh, we're, we're shooting, we're, we're, we're nutting, we are reproducing, which means, oh, I'm, I'm successful, I'm reproducing with all these women, 
And uh, I don't really need the drive to become more high value, high status, more charismatic, more successful, whatever. So of course, NoFap will take out the shame side, but retention will cover it all. And this spiritual, but also biological energy that spawns from retaining, once you learn, like you, your sexual energy rises, which is just your sexual energy being high in general, makes you more attractive to people. But also, when you have high sexual energy, you can learn how to transmute it into other things. Meaning if there's, it could be in the gym, it could be in your success endeavors. Like if you want to become an entrepreneur, you want to work harder, you want to do this or that, better in school, focus more, self-improvement, whatever. You can have this new energy pool building up that you can transmute into these aspects of life. Like, bro, it's only day four and I feel like I'm noticing things. Woke up at 6.45, edited, didn't go back to bed. I haven't had a nap or anything. And that's the thing. It's just a month. I know you might have failed or maybe you just weren't going to do it, but maybe I'm convincing you. Start now. You'll, you're probably watching this on like the fourth or the fifth, the people on that watch the Kenster videos. Just start now. Trust me. It is just a month. Are you, you mean to tell me that you don't have the discipline for a month and you, and what's funny is your brain is probably coming up with all these copes of like, no, it's not discipline. It's just, I just don't want to do it. Yeah. You don't want to do it because you're addicted to rubbing your wiener. You fucking idiot. For the people on the fence, just listen to me very non-objectively and understand that I'm just trying to help you from the personal experience of me being so addicted to masturbation and pornography for a majority of my life and my upbringing and it 100 percented percented 100 percent affected 100 percented we're out here making new words guys everyone drop a percented in the in the chat 100 percent affected me in terms of social interactions in terms of how i viewed myself probably in terms of my performance and results in the gym maybe even the way my puberty was affected. I made a whole video about that. And that, that's like my whole mission with these channels and my self-improvement advice and guidance I'm trying to offer is I am trying to help you as if I could go back and help myself. I'm not gonna tell you guys to do something that I wouldn't do myself. I'm doing it right now. Day four, baby. There's also this idea that there is some kind of like secret biological process that takes place when you retain and like the energy from down there travels up your spine and into your brain and it's like this crazy process that people talk about I don't really know exactly that much about it but it's it's very uh very spiritual ancient thing I'm, I'm trying to think of a better word for it and there's also the idea that retention in general leads to just longevity and almost a de-aging effect now uh they probably haven't done studies like this on humans and the thing is where people are like oh they haven't done studies or the research doesn't say that you you know who funds most of these scientific studies it's probably people that don't care to help people or they don't want people to stop jerking off because you know at the end of the day porn and jerking off and stuff is a is a sedation and mind control of modern men because as men we are the strong people that can like uprise and push against certain agendas but if we're just cooming and, and like oh my brain thinks i had sex 20 times today and i just this new vid browser's video just dropped but i think there was a study done on I'm not sure if it was like a bird, it was some animal, and the ones who frequently reproduced, as in they were busting, would live to like, I don't know, like 12, 13, 14 years, and then the one who retained or didn't reproduce lived 20 plus. You could definitely get a lot deeper if you do want to go into the like Taoism practice of semen retention, more down the rabbit hole of a lot of the spiritual ideas behind it, and honestly, I think consuming things telling you about the benefits of semen retention will motivate you and almost even placebo you into believing that oh like yeah i do feel a little better today oh i am more charismatic oh i am making more eye contact with girls which if your mind thinks it it has a huge effect on your body and how you act in general so please consider going the rest of november without busting your little ball juice out onto a blanket don't be rubbing your pee pee on the blanket. And um, and lastly, don't buy the grape Celsius. There's a lot of better flavors of it. This one is very bad and I'm disappointed. However, there are, it's, it's every one of those flavors where you know there are some weirdos out there that this is their favorite flavor. And I just, I wouldn't want to associate with them. So that's, uh, that's the takeaway message for this video. All right, bye guys.